What was unusual support was Aam Aadmi Party coming in vociferously, Arvind Kejriwal, in support of Rahul Gandhi. Other than Mamta Banerjee, we see maybe a shift in alignment of the opposition, possibly the third front which was forming now, inching closer to the Rahul Gandhi leadership. Do you see this as possibly the tipping point or one of the moments which could lead to, you know, the opposition finally getting united? Pretty. What you're basically implying to say is that is the opposition coming around to a point where Rahul Gandhi can be the pivot or fulcrum of an opposition charge against Narendra Modi? I will say very early. I will say that will I, should I be focusing on what various players in the opposition are going to do given what their current on that day compulsions are on what the issue is? Now, this issue where Rahul Gandhi is being likely to go to jail, faces that two-year uh, imprisonment element, he, ha he can appeal definitely, is something that Arvind Kejriwal identifies with. Two of his key men are behind bars. So that's where I think uh, Arvind Kejriwal is coming around from that he wants basically the support of Rahul Gandhi and everybody else and shows to show that somewhere there is a battle on vis-a-vis -vis the government and the opposition. But will they last is a different question. I think what is more important here is how Rahul Gandhi and Congress are going to use this as, as an opportunity or as an adversity. Will they scramble in courts, uh, uh, comments, and all, or if you realize this is an opportunity which is pushed Rahul Gandhi inadvertently, it's a court order, into yet again point where Rahul Gandhi is part of the main political narrative of the country. Now in that, can Rahul Gandhi push himself to the point that he becomes the pivot? The, what I want to say is, if he has to become the pivot, if Congress has to be the fulcrum of opposition unity, it has to fight and struggle and use the opportunities that come their way. Otherwise, today, Arvind Kejriwal is with them. Tomorrow, he may not be. You know, Rahul, these are the latest visuals. I'll just tell our viewers that are coming through. Rahul Gandhi's car leaving with Sonia Gandhi. His mother was already there. But I want to quickly cut across to Supriya Bharadwaj, my colleague, uh, who's joining us for more. Supriya, over to you. Uh, Supriya, can you hear me? All right, we seem to have lost Supriya. We're going to try and connect to my colleague Supriya. But you just saw those visuals there. That's Rahul Gandhi's car leaving uh, 12 Tughlaq Lane. Uh, but uh, th there. That's uh, Rahul Gandhi leaving uh, his residence with his mother. Where is he going? That's the big question. Uh, there would be a lot of strategizing at play. But what does it actually mean? Before we cut across to Supriya, I want to pull in Anisha into this conversation. Anisha, Rahul Gandhi charged under Section 500 of the IPC. If you break it down in terms of uh, just the quantum of sentence, two years, is this the highest that one can get in this particular section, which is uh, IPC 500? And on the other hand, in terms of past precedents, have there been where people have actually got a full sentence for saying something like what Rahul Gandhi said? Maybe to answer the first part of your question first, this uh, IPC section 499-500 defines defamation, that is a criminal act of defamation which can harm somebody's reputation, which can harm, uh, defame somebody in public. And now what the courts look at is how exactly something has harmed someone, whether it has harmed someone, the court would have looked at the evidence that uh, the uh, complainant has given. But when you look at the ramifications of this particular sentence, the maximum possible sentence of two years imprisonment plus fine has in fact been imposed on Rahul Gandhi in this particular case. Now, uh, apart, quite apart from the fact that Rahul Gandhi now potentially faces a jail sentence, at this moment, of course, he's been given a 30-day reprieve. The court has suspended his sentence, given him bail for 30 days to approach an appellate court. It will also have a direct bearing on the possible disqualification. Now, according to the uh, uh, Representation of the People Act, Rahul Gandhi stands disqualified from his post as a member of parliament. And that is going to have much larger ramifications when it comes to all of this. And, of course, uh, if he manages to get a stay on his conviction, uh, 
from a higher court that is only uh, that is the only way he can uh, save uh, this uh, from himself from this disqualification so uh, there's a lot of right. legal battle yet ahead for rahul gandhi and we'll have to wait and see how this works out of course politically we are seeing a lot of hoopla